All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm very excited to bring you guys to the canyons of Highland Ranch over here in Claremont, Florida. So I want you guys to take a look at this model that they do have available for sale. This is the Antigua, right? We're looking at a four bedroom, three bath, over, two, uh, to over 2,200 square feet. So let's head inside. I want you guys to see the layout. I'll give you, you know, a lot more information. This neighborhood is actually preparing to close out. I believe they have about 23 or 24 more homes for sale. Pretty much um, the homes that are available, everything you see here is what's gonna be included. So initially, as soon as you come here, you can see we're greeted by nine, four ceilings all throughout the entire home. We have our initial bedroom on the right, bathroom on the left, so let's take a look. And I wanna run you guys through pricing because I know that is key. I'm making this video because they are offering over $50,000 in incentives if you go to the preferred lender. It's a very common thing that builders do, but be it that they are getting ready to close out soon, they're going above and beyond to give you guys the deal. So this house specifically, the lowest range that they have, I believe they have four homes available and it's from 560 to 576 would be the range. We have a double door den, this could be an office. All the models that are for sale do include this. This is optional usually, but the inventory homes that are available for purchase pretty much come with this. It's really, really nice. So. Let's take a look at the rest of the home. We have options if, if we were to make a left. This is essentially where the garage is gonna be. So I want you guys to take a look. Two cars as of now, but they do have an option to make this a three car garage according to the space you have available on your lot. So if you do want to have a three car garage, reach out to me and I'll let you know pretty much what lots they allow this. Uh, configuration to basically be have as you can see we have the tracing links through here really really nice and this is really open home so we already brushed up on one bedroom one bath and now we're going to get into the rest of the home i'm just a really big fan of the layout everything is nice collect uh connected they have this uh butler's area as well which will bring you to the lovely pantry more than enough space in my opinion maybe you would have configured to put some more things or shelves up there that would be great but this pretty much welcomes you to the rest of the open home we have our dining here entertainment slash living room there and this is just phenomenal you guys can see this is another option this is the extended patio initially it would roughly probably be about half of this still open but this is the extended option but keep in mind the inventory homes, this is standard. So before I bring you to the actual bedrooms behind me, I want you guys to see the master. I know this is probably what you guys want and pay attention to the amount of space you have in here. Tray ceilings, uh, once again, all the way throughout. More than enough natural light to come in. We have three large windows. And just take a look at this, guys. I know you're gonna love the bathroom as well. So let's take a look at that. Remember, this is available for sale. We have the toilet here. And although this is not frameless, there is an option to keep this frameless. So if you guys like that styling better, um, tiling does not go all the way, but it's still nice. Very, very sufficient. I really like this. Especially that it leads to the tub, really beautiful. Nice, large window. And here I am, this is what we're looking at as far as the mirror dual sinks. And now this is actually really nice. The closet spacing on either side. This is really spacious. I like my closets to have a table in the middle, but you know, I might have too much expensive taste. So sorry about that guys. But I'll give you guys one more impression of the master. You guys look real nice. And let's go see the rest of the two bedrooms which are going to be a Jack and Jill room, which are really, with a uh, really unique setup actually. So I'm excited to take you guys over here so you can see kind of how they configured this. So you can see we have four doors. Let's see what we're dealing with. To the right actually is our laundry. Okay. 
single story home. This is definitely not bad. Make sure you pay attention to the rules, guys. This is not here for no reason. <laughs> Anyways, we have our bathroom here. This is really nice. Full bath, of course. And then these are where the last two bedrooms are at. So we can make a right or left, right, left, right, left. Let's go left this time. I'll open this closet up so you can see. But as you guys can see, you know, each room definitely has enough natural light coming in to make it make sense. This is what we're looking at as far as closet. Pretty standard, nothing crazy. But as far as homes being available, these are the models that you can pretty much get into before the year is over. So if that sounds like more or less what your time frame is looking like, you're aiming to make a move to a nice single story home, uh, plenty of space, four bedrooms, three bath, optional three car garage, this might be it for you. You know, if you really are a fan of this, we are pretty much, you know, wrapped up with me showing you uh, every nook and cranny, but I just want to make it clear that these are available. My name is Brandon Polito, of course, the realtor with the Prasad Group. You know, local area specialists at this point in the Mineola, Claremont Market, even Davenport. I tend to frequent these places a lot, and I thought this would be a really unique home to show. So I'll show you guys just a little more features that kind of interest me. This is by Taylor Morrison. Look at that backsplash, real nice. Gas, I like this. Um, double ovens. But back to what I was saying. Another concern, because I was actually here with a client, um, Mr. Leland, he was asking me actually, you know, as far as pools and stuff, you know, what are my options? Are there even, is there gonna be space even available for the lot to put a pool in? Now, Taylor Morrison, a really good builder as they are, they actually have a pretty standard to allow enough spacing in every lot to put a pool. I know there was one lot that couldn't take a pool, but for the most part, it's either you know, you can fit it or some areas might have, you know, more spacing than others. But for the most part, we are looking golden. I want to show you guys these doors too, but we're pretty much wrapped up with this video. So if this home or any of the other ones I'm showing kind of catch your eye, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm going to make sure the number's on the screen and give me a call. If you have any questions and yeah, this is just a really, really nice house. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. See you guys in the front and we'll pretty much be done with this. All right, so we are wrapping up this video. I really appreciate you guys uh, for watching. You know, I'm gonna make sure I keep the content coming, more new construction homes. And I actually wanna take some suggestions as to where you guys wanna see these videos take place on. You know, if you're interested in different areas all around Orlando, um, I kind of want to be able to uh, you know, service you guys and provide special videos on where you want to see. So really appreciate you guys watching once again, and I'm going to take off. Have a great day. Bye. Okay.